What's going on guys? Today I want to show you five utility apps that I've actually downloaded from the App Store. Um, these are all free, so it's not much of a, of a review that I'm doing on these apps. It's more of a just an introduction to anyone who hasn't seen these apps. I think they're really helpful, so I'm just going to go ahead and share these with you. First one that I want to show you is called Point Inside. Now what Point Inside pretty much is, is uh, it's a map. Now if you're anything like me, when I go to a mall... Um, I'm just going to start off with a mall because that's what I used it for. I downloaded it to go to Westfield Garden State Plaza, which is in Jersey. Um, and basically, when I go to a mall, I hate having to browse around and look for stores or look for that little billboard that they have with a map. So with this little app, what this app does basically, it gives you the map for the entire mall and each and every store that's inside the mall. So let's start, go ahead and start. You, you can just search up here. And I searched for the one that I already had. Now, as you can see here, it shows you the map of the entire store. Now, Garden State Plaza has two uh, floors. This is the, let me see which one this is. This is the lower level, and then you have the upper level. Now, as you can see, the storage change. Now, the reason I used this was because I needed to go to the app, Apple Store in the actual mall. So, I just went in here, and as you can see, the App Store is right there. I don't know if you can read that, but the Apple Store is right there. In any case... Um, this pretty much allowed me to know exactly where to park. I didn't want to park all the way over here and then have to walk around the entire mall just to uh, get to where I wanted to go. And the real cool thing about this is when I got to the place, there was actually a little arrow, like a GPS, um, basically showing me where I'm at or what location I was in. Uh, so that's actually pretty cool. Now there's parking here and there's also parking in this section up here. You can do services and then you can do like ATMs. Um, oh, this is like the bus stops if in case you're using public public transportation then you have parking restroom and then like the food court and it shows you everywhere where you can eat and also like escalators and elevators so I mean it's pretty cool it also works for like different things I'm just gonna demonstrate how to work down the mall but it works for like airports and uh, also one cool thing that I mentioned that I forgot to mention let's say you want to go to Macy's uh, it shows you like it gives you a little pinpoint and then it shows you everything that it is. Like it shows you the description of the place, the contact information in case you want to call them. And then I guess any featured uh, like coupons or stuff like that. But there's nothing there right now. It gives you the hours and everything. So I mean it, it, it's pretty cool. It's pretty useful. Um, it also works for like airports and different places. Uh, like I said before, I used it for specifically for the mall. So I think it's pretty cool. And go ahead, check it out. All right, so the second app I want to talk about is called Weather Underground. Now, before I even get to that, the reason I have a weather app on here, even though we have a native app, which is up here, you can see on the um, notification center, um, pretty much, let's say I want to go paintballing next week, next Saturday, let's say. Now, here, I can only see, uh, with the native app, I can only see what the forecast is for today. So, let's say all day today. That's what we have. Um, and it doesn't really let me see hourly for each day it only lets me see for that specific day which for example today's monday so it lets me see today but let's say i want to go saturday saturday according to this it's going to be 75 i can't see what the day is going to be like the entire day i feel like it limits you it doesn't give you enough uh information so i go i went ahead and i downloaded this app right here it's called weather it's also called if you look in the app store it's called weather underground now this is also free in the app store so pretty much all the apps I'm gonna talk about today they're all gonna be free so you don't have to worry about having to pay for anything so as you can see it tells me the location where I'm currently at it tells me the temperature right now it's actually cloudy it is raining the outside as you can see um, but let's say I wanted to know for Wednesday if it's gonna rain all day or not so I can go to Wednesday and then it tells me that it's gonna be lightning at 12 a.m. 1 a.m. so all throughout the night it's gonna rain and then sunrise is at 538 I'm not sure if you could see that let me see if I can focus a little bit. Well, in any case, 5.38 a.m. And then it tells me it's going to rain all day. In some cases, it's only going to be part of the day that's going to rain. So I would use this app to let me know uh, what times are going to be free from, of rain or whatever. In any case, before I go into a rant, it, pre it pretty much just tells me I can switch days by doing this. Um, it gives me a much more... Um, option it gives me more options and I mean I don't know I just think it's it's a better app than the native app that we have on the iPhone uh, so you can check that out you also have the map right here 
and it tells you like the forecast and it tells you where the rain is going and like the temperatures all around for example in Jersey uh, so that's pretty cool and again guys this is a free app <clears throat> so go ahead and check it out it's in the app store it's called weather underground the third app I want to talk to you guys about is called gas buddy it's also under my reference folder gas buddy is pretty much it's self-explanatory uh, it tells you the gas stations around your area now one cool thing about this app not only does it tell you different uh, the closest gas station around your area but it also gives you an option to do by price now distance wise this is the closest one to my area no one has actually reported the price for this but let's say I go to this specific um, Delta place Delta gas station I can click right here and then I can report the prices and leave comments so that the next person can see what the prices are uh, it also gives you the option to do regular mid-grade premium and then also diesel um, I use regular I don't have to use anything else but let's go by price now this is according to this this is the cheapest in my area so if I go to this gas station right here it'll be 351 per gallon uh, for regular now let's say I go when they change the price this has been updated four hours ago it tells you the hour it tells you one hour one hour one hour whatever so then I can go here and then I can change the uh, prices for each one regular medium premium or diesel so I think that's pretty cool it gives you the option for map also like different locations in case you want like BP instead of Delta or you want Luke Oil or Exxon or whatever <clears throat> so I think this is a really uh, it's it's helpful I was actually looking for a gas station last this past weekend um, so I used this and I saw the cheapest gas station around which wasn't actually too far so I went ahead and, and used this app <laughs> and that's pretty much it guys um, so check it out it's called gas buddy in the app store and it is free Alright guys, the fourth app I want to talk to you about is Flashlight. Now, Flashlight is a really helpful app. How many times have you been caught in the dark or you need some type of flashlight or any light um, to illuminate anything around your area? I know I've been caught sometimes without a flashlight and I need something handy right away. I mean, a lot of people use their iPhone screen or their any phone screen, uh, but it doesn't really give you that much light. Now here, as you can see, the background light gives you the, now that gives you the option to turn it on and turn it off. So just by one button it'll turn it on and then turn it off it also gives you a compass and it also gives you the option to do like strobe lighting so this does it like every one second it'll blink I'm not really sure what the purpose of that would be but it is there it gives you the two uh, I guess half a second or no just gives you by tight like two and then different levels three four five all the way up to nine so like eight would be a little faster and then nine and then you also have like SOS uh, in case of emergency, I guess you want to um, let someone know that you're in danger. I'm not sure. But anyway, I, the only reason I would use this app for, like I said before, in case, let's say, uh, my doorway or my car is dark and I need to find the keyhole. Um, I mean, nowadays, you just have a remote to open your doors. But in case you need to open any type of door, anything, anytime you need light, basically, you can use this. It's pretty much self-explanatory, guys. It's called Flashlight in the App Store, and it is free. Check it out. Alright guys, and lastly, the last app I want to show you guys, this one is called Shop Savvy. Now, Shop Savvy, I mean, I'm sure some of you have seen different types of uh, scanning bar uh, apps out there. Now, the reason I like this one is for specific reasons. It gives you the option to do regular um, barcode scanning, or you can do like the QR reader type of scanning. The Q, uh, QR code, I think it's called. Uh, in any case, I'm going to go ahead and show you with this WD-40. I'm just going to scan it right here. It's going to vibrate or beep there you go does both it beeps and it vibrates and it tells you where it is now as you can see here it gives you a picture so if I click this it'll give me the picture and it is exactly the one that I am looking for as you can see here even with the little top handle uh, so that's pretty cool it gives you an image to make sure you are looking at the looking for the right one it gives you online pricing which uh, you can find it by cheapest price if you want it I mean it depends on where you shop and it also gives you current location like local stores around your area where you might be able to find this now here as you can see I have Ace Hardware and Sears um, that I can actually find this at so I mean that's pretty cool it's pretty handy uh, and it also gives you options to do uh, reviews now you can write your own review or you can read other people's reviews for that product um, it definitely comes in handy guys and you also have like deals uh, there's different options I don't want to really get into it but the basic use for this app would be for that specific thing but that's pretty much it guys check it out in the app store it's called shop savvy and you can find it in the app store for free
All right, guys. Well, that's all I have for today. I just wanted to talk about five quick apps, quick utility apps that I can use on a daily basis. I um, mean, I hope it helps you guys. If you have any questions about any of these apps, leave them down below in the comment section. And as far as anything else, you know exactly what to do, guys. I'll talk to you later. Peace. Hey, guys. Check out these two videos that I made at the paintball field with my GoPro Hero 2. Feel free to subscribe to Untalented Productions. I'll be uploading more paintball videos in the upcoming weeks. Well guys, like always, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can leave them down below in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe, and you can add me on Facebook, or you can follow me on Twitter. Until next video guys, peace.